Yo, yo, it's your boy, Big Mouth, Mouth of the South, man. Let the people know we rocking with today. Big Flock 187, you already know what's going on. Big Flock 187. Yeah, yeah, that's me. You fresh off them papers, ain't you? Nah, hell nah, I'm still on them. I'm fresh out the halfway house. Out the halfway house? Yeah. How that feel? Uh, feel like my release date all over again. Yeah, me, I'm out here. Yeah. I'm out here. So, what you saying is pretty much like you don't have no curfew or nothing like, you know what I'm saying? I still got, I still got to take you on and shit like that and go to a little program. But besides that, I'm pretty much, I can travel, I can do whatever. Yeah. I can't, I can't smoke though. So, what's like, like not to backtrack but too much, but um, you did three years in fair time, right? Right. Well, what was the wildest, craziest day? Right, craziest day? Yeah. Uh, when we had to go to war with the white boy. The white boy? What you mean? Nah, it was a race, a race ride. So, you gotta go to war with the white boy. All the black niggas, no matter where you from at, you go to war with all the white boys, no matter where they from at. So, where you was located at? Where you was doing your fair time at? I started off at Beckley, and then after, I mean, I started off at Cumberland, and then I got transferred from Cumberland to Beckley, out of West Virginia. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you just, like, woke up one morning, and it was like, yo, we got beef with all the white boys? Uh, nah, I, it was probably the afternoon. I was in the shower, and some shit had kicked off at the shower. And then after that, I had to really get the fuck out of the shower, put my shit on, grab my knife, and go to work. So, how long did the beef actually last, though? It didn't last that long. We, but after, after the shower, we got on lockdown for a couple days. We got locked down for like seven days. Then by the time we came out, squats and shit, niggas ain't trying to be on lockdown. You know what I mean? that shit going on. Yeah. yeah. Um. So when y'all was actually beefing though, like, what, like what's something y'all beef over though? Like, what was the issue? It could be about anything out the bed. It could be about a nigga not paying a tag. It could be about a nigga, a nigga fucking around and give you ten stamps. It could be about anything. You never know. Yeah. And you, and you, so a lot of times you might not even have though. You, you just know when you're trying to go, you gotta go. So the white boys that was in there, they was really like that, or it was kind of like a, like it was sweet? Uh, I ain't gonna lie, the white boys ain't no bitch. I'm gonna tell you that, though. You got white boys that's bitches, but you got black niggas that's bitches, too. And the white boys ain't no bitches, and they big as shit. <laughs> you gotta get the thigh out. You ain't, right. you ain't fighting them niggas. Yeah. You ain't fighting get the thigh out. Hell yeah, yeah, that's a big boy. You say get the thigh out? Get the thigh out, get that knife. Yeah. Hell yeah. So, like, what's the difference between county jail and um, the fair time? Like, how is it different, though? That shit like night and day, it's, it's completely different. Go to the county jail, county jail, shit, you ain't got, you don't have nothing that you could really do, you know what I'm saying? And the feds, it's like, you ain't on the streets, but it's like shit going on, though. Shit like really going on, like niggas drugging, niggas drinking, niggas gambling, niggas cooking out there food, you know what I'm saying, shit like that. So, in the county, you ain't doing none of that. The county, you making weapons. You making swoles, hookups, shit like that. That's about that's about the most fun you gonna get. So pretty much what you're saying is like people would rather do fair time than Hell county yeah. time. Hell yeah, fair time or state time. Any anything to get out of the county, you know, you, you wanna go. Yeah. You wanna go, hell yeah. So for the people that's not really familiar with you on, um, you know what I'm saying, like let them know what happened on um, you did three years in fair time. Um what was the reason? Felony possessing the firearms and drug distribution. Yeah. Do you feel like it was some like decisions that you had made that you feel like you kind of regret, or you feel like, like how did it actually go down? Um, and the only thing I really regret, like I just didn't get them guns out of the house, cause I could have beat the drugs. Uh, I really, for real, I really just laid down on the gun side, cause the drugs that they were talking about, I wasn't even selling. You know what I'm saying? They were just dead. They were, they were personal use, and they was old. You know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, the only thing I probably would have changed. Had them guns out the house. That's it. They yeah. Came, they, they came in there strong, though. Know, strong, big shit. I ain't never even seen them before. And get, get your ass up. It's time to go. Yeah. And I, and I got my ass up, ready to go. Were you scared? <laughs> What's up for that? Nah, hell nah. <laughs> hell nah. I already, I already had my hands up. Like, maybe if I was in the bed a little longer, bullshit, and looked like I was trying to reach for something, I probably would have been like a little annoyed, though. But I already had my hands up in the air, so I wasn't thinking they were going to kill me or nothing. I was already been there out the gate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you needed to sit down, though? Was that something that kind of, like, needed to happen in your life in order for you to kind of be successful with this wraps up and stay focused, or you feel like you could have avoided that? I feel the though. I feel the though. I probably ain't need to sit in no prison. 
I never want to do that, but it, I don't, I want to say it helped me in the, in the rap sense of it. It helped me in my regular being a man mentality type shit. Yeah. And you just got you to move right, you know what I'm saying? You got to be talking, you got to walk it too, so I can't keep screaming I'm moving all this, but I'm sure where I sleep, you know what I'm saying? So it just helped me, it just helped me move better as a man, though, as a whole. And I guess that'll be music too, though, but that wasn't what I was looking for. What's like the biggest jewel that you like learned while you was locked up inside? Yeah. Pressure, pressure, the bus pipes to uh, make down. That's my favorite song. I love that song. Yeah. Pressure, the bus pipes to make down. It's either going to break your ass or it's going to make you shine. One or the other. And it's going to make me shine. Absolutely. So, so look, though, before you um got locked up or whatever, how you feel like your buzz was before you went in, though? Like, how you feel like? I was him. I was 30 him, though. Like, for real. I don't want no guy like him. That. So do you feel like going to prison slow your momentum down or kind of? Mm, yeah, hell yeah, because I mean, now you got all these rappers out here that had a run, they ain't go to jail. They had a straight run that they could do whatever they want for three years. That three years, to, for me, that's critical, you know what I'm saying? Plus doing time right before that, though, that's critical, you know what I'm saying? Hell yeah, so it's, it ain't, it slowed me down, but it ain't stop nothing, though, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Slow motion better than no motion, yeah, and I'm still going on that shit, don't stop nothing. X. So look though, before you went on, went in and did the three years though, can you remember like who was buzzing during that time? It's like is the same people still popping when you came out the second time, or is it kind of like a whole different music scene? Uh, I was popping at first. Little dude, he's still popping now. Um, like popping like I don't know like popping to the world, popping to me because I listen, I listen to. Like, I listen to the river. I just listen to my man for real, you know what I'm saying? You know? Yeah, I'm saying, like, popping to the world, though. You know, like, I know a lot of rappers be like, they don't really listen to a lot of people, but sometimes people that's really popping, though, mm -hmm. it's like you can't, you have no choice but to see what they got going on just a little bit. It's like you can't really avoid mm -hmm. it, though. So for the people that was really, like, you know what I'm saying, popping before you went in, are they still popping now? No, I don't think so. So it's like a whole different crowd. It's a, it's a brand new league. Like, he was popping then, they, like, Seniors graduating out of high school, they old news, you feel what I'm saying? Like, the people now, they fresh. They got something to prove, they hungry, they got something to prove. So, it's a whole different league. I came home to 15 different rappers from where I'm from, from my city or whatever the case may be. And they pop. And I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna hate it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pop. Hell yeah. So, is this something that you kind of like seen coming, or is it like. Nah, hell no, nah, because at first, our city was getting so overlooked. We been had talent, you know what I'm saying, but it seemed like when I went in, that's when everybody started looking at us, you know what I'm saying, DMV, DC, whatever the case may be, started looking at us, so, I mean, I ain't, I hell no, I ain't see it coming up, but I'm glad it came, though. Know? Yeah, why you feel like y'all was getting overlooked, though? Because, bro, we been had talent, bro, like, like, we, like, I could, I, I could, I could just think of four motherfuckers that was out there when we was out there first. We could have been gone. We could have been the next whatever the fuck, whoever, whoever your favorite rapper is. You know what I'm saying? That made it. Could have been that, though. But they looking at It's like, I be feeling like the music shit, that shit go with sections. Like, one period of time, it might be Atlanta that's winning. Another time, it might be Cali. Another time, it might be Texas. We going with sections. But I, like right now, it's our time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So what do you feel like being like the biggest hold up though? Like what's really been holding niggas back from like making it out the DMV though? Niggas don't support each other. They don't support each other. It's, that's the main thing to me. So you feel like you feel like the DMV need to support each other just for the world to support you? Yeah, that's how every that's how every other place is winning. Yeah, but it seems like every every state or city that I go into, like like everybody be kind of complaining about the same thing though. They always feel like they city don't support them. I mean, I don't know, you know what I'm saying? Like, the world is based off of pain, you know what I'm saying? So I can't say if they right or wrong. But on the outside looking in, I look at Atlanta rappers, they all, you see them all together all the time. When one of their songs drop, every, all, all them niggas is going to post that shit. Okay, so you kind of like, mean like for the people that's actually making moves, kind of like stick together. Yeah, and not yeah. the actual like city don't it, like the... It, it's the people that's making moves and the people that's up under them, they making moves too. They not making the, the big power move that you actually see, but 
they doing the footwork for the nigga who's making a move. You know what I'm saying? It's a, a teamwork make your dreams work, bro. So it's like, if I keep posting your shit, all your people from from where you from gonna see me. You feel know what I'm saying? Yeah. I post, and, and you post my shit every. You know what I'm saying? And vice versa. So it's like, we all from the same city. So why the fuck can't we all do that? Anybody from my city that posts something, why not post? We from here. You know what I'm saying? That nigga post a nigga a whole out of town shit before they post my shit, his shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Why? Why? Why though? You feel know what I'm saying? So have you ever felt like, you know what I'm saying? Have you ever felt like, like you the big homie or whatever, where you can like step up and like voice your opinion, kind of like let the people know what's going on, like y'all gotta do better, or or you feel like can't nobody say nothing? Nah, I mean somebody can say something, but it ain't gonna be me. Yeah, why you wanna say nothing though? Cause that's not my, it, 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 it's bigger than me. You feel me? That it's bigger than me. It would have to be every big homie in each section to come together to do shit like that. It's too much going on in our city. Yeah. Too much, much beefing, too much fake beefing, too much rap beefing. It's too much. And I'm not trying to get into that shit. You know what I'm saying? That ain't my thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, that ain't my thing. But you don't feel like if everybody just keep quiet, don't, don't nobody never step up, like things ain't going to never change. That's a possibility. That's a possibility, but that ain't my job. That ain't my job. Bro. My job is to do nothing but take care of my friends and family and my daughter. And that's it. That's my job. Anything else that comes with any of this shit, that's not my job. Yeah. Yeah, no. Nah. So now that you out, um, you know what I'm saying? I feel like you still popping though. Like I feel like, you know what I'm saying, you still kinda going crazy though. Do you feel like like what's your own assessment of what you got going on now? Like, what you mean by own assessment? What do you mean by that? Like how you feel about your like your buzz? I know you said when you first went in, mm -hmm. before you went in, you feel like you, you was there, like you was him, you was him. Do you feel like you still him? Yeah, I'm always feel like I'm him. Yeah, yeah, my confidence is out the roof. I'm always feel like I'm him. But I also feel like I wanted to be a regular person at, at the same time, and that's that's what slowed my momentum up just a tad bit, just a tad bit. But that's it. When well, you say you want to be a regular person, though, like what you mean by that? Like I just want to be regular. I want to be regular, but I'm not regular. If that makes sense, like I want to be able to do regular shit without getting stopped for a pitch. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I want to go sit down at a regular restaurant without being stared at all day. I want to be able to take my daughter out without people like. Can I still get a picture even though you see me on family time? Like, you know what I'm saying? You shit like that. I just want to be rapping. I want to be at this, but you know what I'm saying? That's not that's not in my destiny. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you, have you figured out like a way though to like to be able to get over that though? Like, I man, shit, I'm over it. I mean, cause you, I mean, you popping though. Like, that's what's gonna happen. Yeah, like you want shit, but you know what I'm saying? You can't only get what you want though. I'm over it for real. Like, it don't it don't really it don't affect me. You know what I'm saying? Cause I still do it. I'm still taking pictures. I'm still get looked at, and you know what I'm saying. Yeah. So it, it, I just I realize it, but I still want to be regular though, if I could. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So look though, um, do you still feel like you the heart of Maryland? I seen like in the older interviews, you feel like you was the heart of Maryland. You still feel that way? I am Maryland, to be honest. I'm, I am Maryland though. I made it cool to be from Maryland. Yeah. So I guess before you like really stamped that you was from Maryland, like nobody else was really stamping it like that. I can't say that. It's up. It's other people that have been, but you still got rock a motherfucker that still say they from somewhere else that they not from. Yeah, it's, it's definitely been people that have been rapping Maryland on one hundred percent. But I just feel as though I made it okay to be like, yeah, I'm really I'm I'm from here. Like I ain't from DC, bro. I fuck with them dudes. I'm not from there. I'm from Maryland. Yeah. Do you ever feel like coming up there was like opportunities where people weren't trying to really give you or like you never really had those type of problems? I never really looked for them. I never really looked for nobody to do nothing for me. Me and my team, we did everything on our own. Yeah. Every single thing. We never looked for a handout. We never looked for somebody to back us or back our play or nothing like that. It would probably been cool to have though, not down on anybody else, but we never looked for no shit like that. We already knew we was going to always do this on our own. Our team, our fans, we gonna do it on our own. So, I, I never really came through that problem, nah. So it was never really no frustration with you though coming up. Yeah, as far as what? Like as far as like your career though, trying to like go to the next level. Yeah, hell yeah, I mean it's still frustration now, but like you can't dwell on frustration though. You that shit, you gotta turn that frustration into motivation. You know, ain't nobody trying to keep being frustrated about something they can't control. You know what I'm saying? You can control it in a certain extent, but. I'm saying, make that shit motivate you and go out there, bro. Yeah. Um, not to backtrack too far though, cause I mean you got a big following though. You know what I'm saying? You on the gram, you on YouTube, like you know what I'm saying? You do numbers all across the board. 
was there something that really kind of like sparked that? Like, did you come out the rip? Like, Soldier K said you was a rapper or whatever. Was you already lit off the rip, or it's like yeah, something yeah, happened? Yeah, I always been lit. I always been him, bro. I, my mom, I came out the wound in '92. Him, I was gay. Him. Yeah. Hell yeah. So, so soon as Instagram started, like you was lit. Fuck Instagram. Soon as Bebo started, MySpace. What the fuck came before that? Black Planet. I'm him, bro. Before I was even computers, bro. I've been him, bro. I, I just ain't never look at me, man. So, I mean, what they know you for, though, besides this rap shit, like, what they really know you for? Being him. You not following? <laughs> <laughs> I say him, but who is him, though? Him is me. Him is, look, bro, like, like, bro. Like, I got a, a certain aura about myself that just portrays me to be him. And I stand like, I'm him, bro, like. Like, cause I don't, I don't really know how much this. Like, if you, like, if you was to go to the dictionary right now and just look at the word him, you gonna see a picture of me like this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. But if they would say describe him though, like, how what would they say? They just gonna be like him. That's exactly. <laughs> you, you cast it on. <laughs> they gonna say him, bro. Like, damn, what's up with Block, man? You, you know him? Oh yeah, him is him. Like, you feel know what I'm saying? Hemi Turner, baby. Yeah. Hemi Hendrix, man. I'm all the him. Any him you can think of, I'm down. I see you got the grill in your mouth. Yeah, hell yeah. That's new, right? Yeah. What's the what's the ticket? God dang. <laughs> More than ten. More than ten. I'm so I'm trying to get like you, man. I just want to know. Say I want to get my teeth shining like you, man. I just want to know, man, before I pull up to the nah, jewelry. You guys see, you guys see, nah, see that's the problem right there. You gotta go stronger than me. I pay more than ten. I ain't gonna say no number, but you gotta pay more than twenty for yours. Yeah. Yeah. Like what made you want to do that though? I mean, I don't know. Like, I've always been in this shit like this. Like, even as a young nigga, like, you see rapping and shit with grills and shit. You know, that ain't really our culture. Right, that's what I'm going to tell you. Like, I don't really see a lot of DMV rappers with the grill. Yeah, I think it's only, like... I don't see none. I think it's only, it's only one. Black Fortune. Tom. Oh, yeah, and Black Fortune. Tom's not really a rapper. Uh, he's something semi. He cool. Tell me, <laughs> he, but he from, he from where we from, though. Yeah, he from you know where we from. Tom and, and um, Black Fortune, the only people I know with the grill besides me, though. Yeah. Like, 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 yeah, like, 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 yeah, like, shit, but like, like, I had gold into that first when I was home last time and shit. So, if the grills start becoming popular on um, out here in the DMV, we know where the trend came from? Indeed. Hey. Indeed. So, look, though, you dropping music now, though. It seemed like every week or two, like, I see you dropping on YouTube. When you first came out, you was kind of, like, slow on dropping music. Like, what's new? What's different? Competition out there, you know what I'm saying? Whether it's slight or heavy, it's still competition. You gotta be consistent. You got a dog. Yeah. That's a dog, man. Yeah, yeah. So, when the tape coming? Um, I ain't got no date for the tape. You still ain't got no date? You've been saying that on every interview, you ain't got no date. We can't make dates, we make dates. I mean, we're making a promise that we can't keep because anything can happen. So, like, what's the hold up, though? No, no hold up. I got, the, I got the content. It's just. When is it? When is a good time to drop it? You so know? you just waiting for the right time? Yeah, I'm just waiting for the right time. Yeah, yeah. But when you do decide to drop, like, what can the fans expect? Or like, how many tracks? Mm, the next next time I'm doing, I got an EP coming out with Scarfo from out the um, from out the land and shit. And that's probably gonna have about ten tracks on it. And then the album might add close to um, maybe like I might get next fifteen. Fifteen? I might. I might. I might be pushing it though. But I might give them fifteen though. Know? So out of the 15, though, like, how many tracks do you think really hard, though, that's really going to go? 15. 15? 15. I wouldn't even put them on there if I didn't think it was hard. If I thought it was just going to be some, you know what I'm saying, soft shit. Yeah. yeah 15. So, like, what's the deals looking like, though? You Any deals on the table? Because I see you moving around a little bit. Like, you got a big fan base, so I know the deals. I know they hollering at you. Like, what's going on? I, I fucked them. I fucked them. I had to fuck them. Just one that time, man. Like, it's one that time. I wanted to see how this independent life won't work. Yeah. And, and I'd be lying to the people. It may seem like it's more hard, though. Still hard, but at the same token, it's just a better page in my book. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, when you say you bucked them, though, what that mean? Like, you curved them? Yeah, yeah like, nah, I'm good. Yeah. yeah. Um, Are you able to say, like, some of the labels that kind of hollered at you or whatever? Nah. You ain't able to say? I can say one. One was Atlantic. Atlantic. So you do got big labels hollering at you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess you you waiting for the money to be right or what? 
it's not just about money for me though, it's about everything that comes with the money though. What else could you offer besides money, you know what I'm saying? Money goes it's too fast. What else can I get besides the money that you can help me do? Can you give me in the movie? Could you give me a distribution, like do Nike? Can, can you do shit like that? But it ain't always about the money for me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I seen that um, in order for you to get out early or whatever, you had to write a letter. <clears throat> nah, nah, that was for me to get my time. Reduced? Yeah. 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 So, being that you like influential person that was locked up or whatever, do you feel like you have to change the content of your music? No. no. So you still kind of on the same shit? I mean, nah, like, I, like, nah, like, so I ain't never just been on straight hardcore drill music. Like, that ain't never really been me. Like, I give you everything but... Like, I be happy to make this shit clear. Like, when I make music and I'm talking about doing boom, 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 all that shit, I ain't telling you to go do it. I'm just telling you what the fuck I did or what I say. I'm not telling you to go out there and go kill you and then yeah. go save something. I'm not telling you to do it. So I want motherfuckers to understand that and get a clear understanding that. I'm never telling you to go do what I'm doing. Because if you get, if I tell you to do what I'm doing, I'm setting you up to go for you to go on the feds while I was in. You feel me? So for all the young boys that's watching right now, though, you really saying, like, you don't really advise that? Nah, hell nah, I ain't never going to buy nobody to dig their ass a dick, but I ain't going to try to tell you how to live, neither, because it's, it's, it, niggas live by circumstance, you know what I'm saying? You never know what the fuck a nigga going through with his mother, ain't got no money, or you know, he ain't got no father, whatever the fuck he had in real life. If he had to go out there and go get it, I can't tell him how to get it, you know what I'm saying? I could just advise you, <laughs> just don't be a me, be a you. Whatever you want to do, you doing it for you, though, not because not of me, not because I influence you to do it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So look though, you know how you said you are him, right? Absolutely. So do you feel like the people rock with you more just because you him? Or you feel like it's the music? Or you feel like it's a little bit of both? Because oh. you know nowadays, um, like character really do sell music. Right. I got endless character. I got endless personality. And I got endless charisma and confidence. So that's always going to sell. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, yeah, but I think it's both though, cause you can't you can't deny good music either. Yeah, like you are popping, like not to try to like downplay the situation, but like how long you think it's gonna be till you actually go global though, like to really become like him him, like you know what I'm saying? Like him him, I am him him, bro. <laughs> hey, listen, you might gotta look at this footage a couple times, man, cause I can't tell you how many times I said I'm him. him it wasn't matter if I was him 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 him. him. All of them is me. <laughs> you feel me? But yeah. I to ask you a question about the global thing. <laughs> ask about the global thing. That shit can happen tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? It can happen tomorrow. It can happen in two weeks from now. It can happen two years from now. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to keep giving out good content. I'm going to keep on. Keep pushing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So from now on out, um, like I said, I see you picked up with the videos, whatever you're dropping, mm -hmm. like every week or every other week. So you saying like your foot on their neck for like the rest of... Till, till, I, till the nigga put me in the dirt or I, I go by natural cause. My foot about to stay on their neck. Ain't nobody ever be able to breathe with me out here. Yeah. Hell yeah. Is there anything you want to get up off your chest or before you get up out of here? Hell nah, I'm him. I'm him. <laughs> I just want to understand that. Like, that's fine. Let's okay, do this, 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 this job to go to your local bookstore and grab you a dictionary or a thesaurus. Wouldn't make a difference. And just look into him. Like, you don't smell the fragrance I got on right now? Do you smell? No, I'm, you, I'm talking to you, man. You smell that? Do you smell the fragrance I got on right now? That's him? Him by him. <laughs> <laughs>